morning prayer for Tuesday in Holy Week, this week using readings and reflections from the Iona community. Generous God, bringer of justice, you are the source of our truth. Gathering God, lover of courage, you are the source of our strength. Glorious God, light of the nations, you are the source of our joy. A reading from John chapter 12, verses 20 to 36. Now, among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honour. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light so that you may become children of light. A reflection. Havens of welcome. Lord Jesus, we give thanks that in the midst of so much ill feeling and misunderstanding, there were people at Bethany who welcomed you. And we give thanks that down the ages there have been those who, in their homes, have offered havens of welcome and understanding in the midst of strife. We give thanks for those who have opened their homes to us when we needed somewhere to find refuge. May our hearts and homes be like that home in Bethany, places of understanding for the misunderstood, places of peace for the haunted, places of healing for the suffering. Lord Jesus, make yourself at home in us. We know that you will take us as you find us. So just come in.
So as we continue in the way of the cross, let us pray to the Father who loved the world so much that he sent his only Son to give us life. The thief who was crucified with Jesus was promised a place in your kingdom. Give pardon and hope, healing and peace to all who look death in the face. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. From the cross, Jesus entrusted Mary, his mother, and John, his disciple, to each other's care. Help us also to care for one another and fill our homes with the spirit of your love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In Mary and John, your son created a new family at the cross. Fill our relationships and those of new families today with mutual care and responsibility and give us a secure hope for the future. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Mary and John became part of your church in Jerusalem. Bring into your church today a varied company of people to walk with Christ in the way of his passion and to find their salvation in the victory of his cross. Lord of the church, hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you in Christ our Lord. Amen. When we bruise like a reed in the wind, Jesus, tend us. When we wane like a flickering lamp, Jesus, shield us. When we lose courage and walk without hope, Jesus, cheer us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. As we go out into the rest of our day, we turn to Christ in the love between us, the passion within us, the unexpected inspiring us and the earth's embrace. We repent of our solidarity in the sin of the world, acknowledging that within us which wounds others. We commit ourselves to working for change and healing in ourselves and the world. We commit ourselves to wisdom in naming evil, courage to expose it, and strength for putting liberation into action. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>